I see these student protests in America have reached a new and um, level of tension. Let me share this and I'll play this small clip. I'll turn on the sound first so we can all hear it. This is students at Columbia University where they've barricaded themselves. At Obviously that lot's outside, but there's other footage with them breaking windows and getting in. In a moment, the footage with them breaking windows should come up. As you can see, that's a lot of protesters there. That might... How that's gonna resolve itself is anyone's guess. Judging by the camera turning around there, I'd say three to five hundred people. Oh yes, here we go. That's a my professional window knockout. Uh, uh, I've seen a fair few of those. Uh, that was done with some skill. Well, who knows how that's going to play out, but that's like a small army of people occupying there, Hamilton Hall. Um, for those who are not familiar with Hamilton Hall on Columbia University, I'll, I'll stick a link in the description with the video underneath so you can have a quick read. Let's watch the last 35 seconds or so of this. Right, well, that's the end of that. Um, my own, let me stop the share of it because uh, certainly, as I maintained yesterday, if there were resonances with the Vietnam protests of the 60s, they're even ever more clear today after stuff like that. Um, Lock-ins where you can see somebody, the students have plainly thought about this long ahead, locking themselves in with there with, a, with that padlock it's hardly unbreakable. It could be rammed in, but then you have to judge that against the fact that there's several hundred of those students standing there and they're likely to rotate with each other and always be there. And I don't think anyone wants a disaster like the infamous Kent State shootings of 1970 to kick off. So let's keep watching and see how events play out. <laughs> 